Hey guys, it's MCD Eagle 2005 here, and let me just turn my volume down a tiny bit. That way you can actually hear me. I'm using Camtasia, not Hypercam, because Hypercam apparently just will not work for me. The audio and the picture get mixed up. The audio, the picture would be done, but the audio would still have five more minutes. And I'm in Blocks World. It recently updated for iOS 8 and iOS 7. I am on the iOS 8 version. So we're going to create a new world. And we're going to create a endless expanse. Now, before we even build anything, we're going to rename this. And I'm sorry if this gets a little buggy. It's just because I'm mirroring my iPad to my computer. The world title is going to, is going to be Signals. Sig no. Signals. You hit done. I'm choosing category and um it doesn't have other. Okay. So adventure. Actually I'm just gonna do like a how to and I'm gonna hit open. So, now what we're going to do is, this is a signal demonstration. Now, with the new update, let me talk you through a couple of things. Okay, so let me talk you through a couple of things with the new version. You have all, then you have the blocks, then you have models. You can actually save your models. So that way, in a new world, if you wanted to duplicate a really cool model that you made, you could just save it and then drag it out. And then everything's pretty much the same from there. Anyway, today we're going to make a pyramid that changes color when you hit a button. It's actually really cool. I've done this before, and I will do other stuff besides Blocks World besides block world tutorials because it would just get kind of boring if I just did blocks world tutorials now I actually figured out how to do something really cool I made it glow which is really cool but it messes up the color a little bit so I'm trying to find a texture to put on it and I think it's going to be little Lego. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to... Make the pyramid the same color as the ground. And... Yeah, there we go. This is actually a darker blue. Now we need to make our button. Now if you go under props... Sometimes there will be a button, this time there isn't. And under action blocks you have these things and stuff. So, yeah, you have those things. But this time we're going to be using a cylinder. It's like that. And we're going to make it, uh, we're going to make it that color. And then we're going to say, if you go under actions, you should get tap. So you put tap there and then a signal. Now I have spycraft, which means I get signals A through I. Now on my grandparents iPad I don't have spycraft so I get a B and C and that's it so if you don't have spycraft you have to be really careful anyway that does signal a and then you go here 
and say signal A does red. Wait, five seconds. Come on. Wait, five seconds. And then orange, wait five seconds, yellow. Basically what we're doing is we're having it do the rainbow, but with five second delays between each color. Now this can get a little long, so I recommend probably scooting it back once in a while just to make sure that it doesn't take up your whole screen. I do do Minecraft videos, so hopefully I'll be able to do this. I'll be able to do Minecraft videos, Blocks World, um, Blockheads, maybe even some Angry Birds, I'm not sure. I haven't quite worked that out yet. But I'm on purple, and... I'm actually going to do another weight and turn it back to its regular color so that you don't have to reset the whole world. Okay, so now when we hit play, we hit the A signal. Wait, hold on. We turn it to a regular color. You can see it's red. Wait, what? Whoopsies. Yeah, even I made it a mistake. It's red, orange, then and you make mistakes sometimes. Everybody makes mistakes. So let's try this for the third time. Third time's the charm. Now it's on orange. Now it's on yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Now, it does change color one more time back to its original color. That's all I have to show for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed.